Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Betty Caterpillar. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Holly. <laughs> to you, Bobby Bee. a bit left out. <laughs> I know how to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra, fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow, it worked! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that to happen. We need to rescue her! I could do another spell. No, no, I've got a better idea. <laughs> Yahoo! Whoa, steady, Betty. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> That's better. Brilliant. Ah! Ah! Hello, Holly. Oh, hello, Daddy. Whoa! What on earth is going on? Uh, Ben's in a spot of bother. Help! Ah, I see. Help! Help! Liberty Flop! Stop, stop, stop! What were you doing to that poor creature? We were just trying to help her. Betty's sad that she can't fly. I see. Well, you needn't worry. She'll be flying soon enough on her own. How? Well, because she's one of those, uh, insect things. A caterpillar? Thank you, Ben. 
Yes, a caterpillar. And they change, don't they? Do they? Of course they do. So you've nothing to worry about. Uh, right. If you want to help, you can find her some leaves to eat. So if we want to help her fly, we have to find more leaves? Exactly. She needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? Oh, <laughs> you'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes, but when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Yes, Daddy. Betty Caterpillar is inside it. And when she comes out, she'll be able to fly. Because she'll be a bird. Uh, actually, caterpillars don't normally change into birds. Do they change into frogs? Um, not frogs either. But what will she? <gasps> Hello, Betty. Oh, she looks the same. She's a butterfly. Betty Butterfly. <laughs> Look, they're all flying together. <laughs> she looks really happy. Let's join them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now everyone can fly. <laughs> I can't fly. Uh, ben, I thought elves were rather good at using ladybirds to fly. That's right. Elves can fly on ladybirds. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Gaston! <coughs> Thanks, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <coughs> Yee-haw! <laughs> <laughs> Betty Butterfly. 